Right, so that's the first flying show done of this Cheshire Steam Fair event and it's gone really, really well. I'm so pleased with the birds. We've flown the barn owl, he was magnificent. We've flown Roland there, the hawk. Even Gulliver's flown beautifully today as well. And even Henrietta and all of the eagle owls are gonna do really well too. So we're having a great day. It's another busy day here in the summer season and welcome to another busy day in the summer season. In fact, welcome to Owl Diary number 44. So I'm now at the wedding and look what I've got here, a white-faced owl, previously known as a white-faced scops owl, one of the ones doing the handling, I should probably explain. So it was all about logistics and to make it easier to reduce the risk of there being a problem on the road and me getting to the wedding in time for the ring bearer, I asked a friend of mine who has a similar business to actually provide the ring bearer. And this is what happened, they did the outdoor flight to the best man there. All was going very well, had the rings in a bag, and then something distracted it and he flew up onto the roof there. But that's not a problem, he came down after about a minute or so. Now I've actually got my birds that I flew in the first show at the Steam Rally here to do a little flying display. This one's for handling, I'll do a bit of handling with mine as well, and a bit of a flying show for the guests here at Ponderosa Zoo, near, near where? It's West Yorkshire somewhere anyway. And it's a lovely day, lovely weather, and weddings are a fabulous thing to do. After this, I'll be packing up, going back down to Cheshire to pack them all up, the team there. And of course, they're doing that flying show this afternoon with the Falcon as well flying. I'm really looking forward to hearing how it went. But it's a great day, and this bird, just look at this, isn't it magnificent? They're an African species, they're also found in Southern Europe. Little ear tufts, I think he's hungry. Maybe we'll feed him something in a minute. And even though they're a small owl, they're a bit bigger than the little owl in the UK, and certainly bigger than a burrowing owl as well. Very responsive, very active, and just a fabulous, a lot of character in them. And look at those whiskers on the beak, around the beak there. Beautiful little specimen that he is. So it's Monday, the 4th of July, Independence Day. And I thought I'd film while I'm driving because I've just got no time to do any vlogging, so to speak, at the minute, really. And we've had a really busy day. It's a good example, actually, of how filled and busy and varied a day can be in the life of a display falconer like myself. So this morning, I got up nice and early, popped the kettle on and went out and had a quick look at all the birds, wanted to make sure they're all okay. And that morning check, you're just making, making sure that they're still alive, essentially, but also looking for anything out of the ordinary. So let's say you've got a bird of prey that never sits on the floor. It's always on a perch somewhere, but one morning you see it sat on the floor. It might look absolutely fine. It might be absolutely fine, but it's unusual behavior. It's out of character. So it's worth then at that point, getting the bird, inspecting it immediately, weighing it, and if necessary, calling the vet for advice or even taking it straight to the vet. So I came out, did the little check, everything was okay, went in, made myself a nice lemon green tea. Kids came over, get them all sorted, ready for school, took them to school. Then I walked down to Quick Fit because my van has had some new tyres put on, actually a slow puncher, and decided just to replace a lot of them. So four brand new Michelin tyres, really good quality that will last. And of course the van does drive around a lot. A lot of events to do, a lot of bookings, so very important. I've got a good set of tyres on there and it's regular serviced and all that. So then I came home, I loaded up all the birds that I was taking out for the day. I managed to set up York with Alan and Esther volunteering. So once York was set up, I then went to Get Branded, which is a specialist clothing company. They haven't paid me to say this or anything, but they're really fantastic and they've printed off some of our new embroidered polo shirts which I've been promising the team for some time I would get made and I've got quite a few of different sizes there so the logo on there was actually designed by Carl from Red Lime and Carl also produces our big projects our big videos things like the Hawk helmet chase video for the woods if you haven't seen that it's worth watching on our channel there and he's also involved with our big promo videos as well I then drove to Huddersfield to do a care home visit and 
these pictures show you actually the decoration that was set up. They had an 80th birthday for a, a lady here. She had a photo in the background, you might be able to see it, of her holding an eagle owl back in 2018, where she did look much healthier. And it just is such a sad thing when people do deteriorate like that, but she's in good hands there. And we did some handling and I did a bit of a talk and lots of the residents held the birds and they got some really funny reactions actually. There was one lady I said, would you like to hold the owl? No, that's fine, no problem at all. There's another lady who said, oh, I don't know about that. And when it was on her hand, the barn was on her hand, she said, oh, isn't it beautiful? Isn't it lovely? And there were smiles on their faces and it's a fantastic thing to do. So I've had a good time there. Then packed that all up, went back to York, flew a couple of birds there, gave them some exercise packed up the York display but the last bird we actually flew was Ollie the Eagle Owl who decided to spend a bit of time up a tree so he delayed us leaving York by I think it was about 50 minutes maybe something like that so uh, get home managed to eat something and then I've loaded up some more birds which I'm now on the way to do in the evening in this lovely sunshine of the evening and I'm going to fly up at one of the places we like to fly the birds Henrietta the eagle owl and maverick the harris hawk and some other birds as well oh gulliver the falcon giving him a nice little fitness session so i should get home by about eight o'clock all being well so i'm back at the steam rally for the second day and it's been a really good weekend we've still got the flying shows to do i hope you've enjoyed this video we've got lots more coming up of course on the youtube channel and hey look we're in the blue yes the polo shirts don't they look good all together we're really pleased with it so i'm going to leave you with a few clips and some highlights of this event and until next time bye for now